Hi, this is Mike Cavanaugh with GayLifeNYC.org. Here we are at the Actors Fund Gala, and I'm with Tim Pickney. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for being here. We are so happy to be here. The Actors Fund does so much to help people with HIV. Can you tell us about some of the services that you guys provide to people living with HIV? Well, the Actors Fund has a comprehensive AIDS HIV initiative. We were actually right on the forefront, you know, when this community was being ravaged by the epidemic during the uh, mid to late 80s and into the 90s. The Actors Fund was one of the first to respond so that there were services that were specific to people living with HIV and AIDS uh, to make sure that, you know, that everybody always had insurance, that they could keep their insurance payments up, and that we have case management so that you can work through the, the government systems to make sure that you can get, you know, all the all the financial assistance that you're entitled to, and there are case managers that will work you right through the system, which can be, you know, of course, very complicated. There are support groups. There are support groups for um, all kinds of 12-step programs, which sometimes, unfortunately, goes hand-in-hand -hand with HIV. So it, it's really, it's quite an amazing program, and um, pr primarily funded by our good friends at Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Yes, we were just there last night for the solo strip event, which was amazing. Um, and I'm also a client of yours, actually, at the Actors Fund, and you guys have really helped me. They have amazing programs, especially if you're newly diagnosed. There's there's all kinds of groups that can help you through getting through the, the hard part of just facing it and realizing that your life isn't over and that there's a lot that's happened and that you can live a great life and you shouldn't be all, you know, your life isn't over, right? Well, that's one of the things about the Actors Fund, too, is that, you know, because being uh, a charity for the entertainment community, for the whole entertainment community, not just actors, people that work backstage, people that work in film, opera, radio, television, any aspect of the entertainment industry and the performing arts, you know, we're like a family, especially here in New York. I mean, we serve people across the country, but, you know, we're such a community here. And it really is, it's someplace where you can go and you can feel comfortable because this is an organization that understands what you do for a living. They understand what it takes for you to get from one day to the next, whether it be auditions or whether you're, you know, trying to find backstage work or whether you're trying to find writing work. We get it because we've all, we all understand what this profession is and the challenges that this profession offer, um, this ch the challenges that this profession confronts people with every single day. So. So, so not just only do they support people with HIV, but they help people in the performing arts community, like I said, across the board. Absolutely. And the thing that's really important about that is it's really hard, especially in this economy. We want to keep these people here and keep the talented people in New York. And without an organization like this, that wouldn't be um, very possible. So we want to thank you for that. Oh, it's a, of course. I mean, it, it's really it's really a safety net for the whole entertainment performing arts community. When I was an actor and transitioning into doing this kind of work, I had like eight weeks where I had no job and I wasn't my new job wasn't starting yet. I came to the Actors Fund. They paid my rent for a month. Right. You know, I mean, th what they can do to help you keep your insurance. Uh, there's uh, a women's health initiative. There's job training and and people to help you find jobs that will so you can have a, a, a parallel career while you're still trying to find work in the Actors Work Program. It's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal organization. And everybody that works in our industry should know about it because right. that's why it's here. It's here for you. Right. One of the most amazing things is, people don't know this, the Actors Fund is able to facilitate you getting private insurance and bill it towards Medicaid. They have a, a way of figuring that out. And people don't know that. It's unbelievable that you can keep your insurance. These are the kind of things the Actors Fund does. And one of the things I love about the Actors Fund is they are very, very supported by the Broadway community. You do events every once in a while where you can get tickets and all the money goes to the Actors Fund. And uh, Are there any events coming up? I produce those events. So, yeah, yeah, we just did Valley of the Dolls um, that you might have heard about with yes. Martha Plimpton and Heidi Blickenstaff and Nancy Anderson, which was just insane. <laughs> it was so brilliant. And then on June 21st, actually, Phyllis Newman's uh, Women's Health Initiative, there's a benefit specifically for that, um, which is Nothing Like a Dame, which is going to be a tribute to Comden and Green this year. And Carl Andress, who directs all Charles Bush's wonderful shows and just directed this Valley of the Dolls, is going to direct this benefit on June 21st. Well, that's great because we always put those events up on our site. If you look at Do This on GayLifeNYC.org, you'll see every event the Actors Fund does, but you can also find out what's going on at the Actors Fund by going to theactorsfund.org. And, yes, and we are so grateful to you and everything that your organization does. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your gala. We're thank so you. proud of you and everyone that works for you. Thank well, you. Thank you, and thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it.